Hello. Time to open the Nihon box. Hopefully I'm saying that right. <laughs> so let's see if I can actually get it open. They taped this really good. The pen is mightier than the sword. meant since this traveled um, I think from Japan doesn't it say it just says okay got it next Hold on. Gotcha. Oh, gosh. Wrote on myself. Urgh. I need to learn to keep a knife handy or some scissors. Discover Japan through the best otaku and traditional items packed with love in Tokyo. Okay, that is awesome. Okay. Let's see what we got. Alright. Stay and stop trying to fall. So we got the yen. I didn't use it last time. Nothing wrong with the yen. I just, it was too complicated for me to figure out. Ooh, what is this? We're going to have to check this. Some kind of... Hmm. It tastes like maple. It's like marshmallow maple. Okay, that's really tasty. It's like a marshmallow with maple in the middle. Hmm. Yummy. <laughs> okay. What is this? Oh, cool. Some kind of... uh, it's a little trash can. It's fairy tale. Pretty cool. Put that there. All right. Tokyo Revengers. Okay, it's a blind box. Problem is, I don't know what Tokyo Revengers are. Flip it on to something. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So, I don't know what Tokyo Revengers are. <laughs> cool. Okay. Ooh, what's this? Let's see if I can just. Oh, not gonna try and slide. It feels like whatever's in there is very fragile. Uh, where'd my pen go? Oops. I'm just drawing on it right now. Come on, break the tape. 
There we go. <laughs> This feels very fragile. Oh, that's pretty. Look. It's it's like a pond and like these are like koi fish. <laughs> that's really pretty. <laughs> that is so cool. Okay, I really liked that. <laughs> Demon Hunter. Okay. <laughs> Demon Hunter cinch bag. Nice. <laughs> well, mini cinch bag. All right. Dr. Stone. Okay, I've never watched Dr. Stone. But you can see that it's this guy. Huh. That's pretty cool. I didn't expect to get figures each time. I mean, it did say that, but. Okay, he hasn't been assembled, so we're not going to do that. <laughs> but pretty cool. Not a bad find. So let's see. Stop. Stop. Let's see what this says. Aw, it was a random figure. I would have loved it if I would have gotten this other one. Thanks a lot for ordering this month's Nihon box. While summer and the holidays are over, there is a little monthly dose of Japan, including a few delightful surprises to bring you joy. The Survive Together themed box highlights several manga in which survival and team spirit are the key. The characters of Dr. Stone are featured with a pretty figure included, as well as the Guild of Fairy Tale and Tokyo Revengers Gang. And last but not least, Demon Slayer. We hope you will enjoy discovering all the gems we put inside. See you next month with a new box and more surprises from Japan. Kingyo, a traditional symbol in Japan. This month in your box is a small dish with beautiful patterns of Kingyo, also known as goldfish. The world famous little fish is a popular symbol in Japanese culture, especially in art. This month, we will tell you more about the genuine sign in Japan. The first goldfish would have arrived in Japan via Chinese merchants during the Muromachi period in 1502. It was a little later, at the very beginning of the Edo period, 1600s through 1863, that the first breedings reserved for the country's elite appeared. During the same period, goldfish began to be part of the lives of ordinary people, mostly thanks to the development of their breeding by certain merchants. Goldfish are called kingyo. In Japanese, kin means gold, gyo means fish, literally the golden fish. Why this name? In the past, they were not red like today, but rather yellow and expensive like gold. Its appearance has changed as a result of selective breeding. During the mid to late Edo period, Kingyo were extremely expensive with prices ranging between 100,000 and 300,000 yen from 800 
to 2,500 yen nowadays. You can buy them quite easily for 200 to 300 yen or 1.5 to 2.5 yen. However, recently a type of kingyo called Tama Saba was sold for around 2 million yen. Since the Edo era, goldfish have also inspired Japanese art in addition to serving as domestic pets. They are shown in several haiku, yukio, Japanese artworks, and other places. During a Japanese matsuri, you can also witness the kingyo suki game, which involves using a dip net to catch goldfish. Fish. It's always very popular among children. Goldfish continue to play a significant role in Japanese popular culture and art today, whether it be fashion, contemporary art, tattoos, etc. Additionally, the kingyo served as inspiration for Hayao Miyazaki's move, movie Ponyo on the Cliff. <laughs> Very cool. Very cool. We'll have to say they, they give some really good items. Like it. And, well, I hope they get a lot of business because these seem to be really quality items and really nice. But that's it. So ring the bell, subscribe, all the good stuff, and I'll see you next time. Bye.